major traffic alert for those commuting into town from the northwest Austin area. Let's get you over to Amanda in the traffic center. All right, thanks, Brian. We'll go right over to our traffic maps for you. You are looking at our maps here showing 2222 between Park Crest Drive over to Mopac. Those main lanes are currently closed due to that water main break that actually is causing the roadway to collapse. Now commuters obviously won't be able to get on those main lanes. The good news is we got lots of alternate routes to get you around the area. So let's start from Mount Pinnell Road down to 35th Street. Also you have Message Drive over to Far West Boulevard. Those ways will bro both bring you back over to Mopac. If you're on the east side, Burnett Road to 45th or even Hancock Drive. Keep in mind though, Hancock doesn't actually merge. There's no on and off ramps. It just travels east and westbound over Mopac. I also want to let you know you'll be traveling through some local neighborhoods as well, so keep those speeds lower. Uh, we got a lot of little ones getting up and out the door, getting ready to start school. Now keep in mind, Kate Whitehall is live on scene and she actually has the latest details on how crews are making progress in the area. Morning, Kate. Good morning, Mandy. Yeah, we just got an update from Austin Water Utility and those alternate routes may need those for your evening commute home as well based on how big a problem this is out here. You can see Austin Water on the scene right now. What they, they told us is that a 20 inch water main broke and so what they're having to do is uh, go in. They're going to be digging up the roadway to figure out where that problem, where that break happened. But their bigger concern is the fact because this is such a big water main and you can see the water that was flowing down 20 to 22 earlier this morning that possibly the soil underneath the roadway washed away. So they're worried that if cars travel on 2222 between Parkcrest and Mopac that the road could collapse. So that's why they're going to be shutting down this roadway completely here in just a few minutes because they want to be able to get underneath there. And these sorts of things take hours. They couldn't give us an exact time frame of how long it's going to take, but there are already three holes in the road. Not not very big holes, but you know, relatively big enough that they're not going to be able to have cars travel on it. So until they get that fixed, uh, cars won't be able to be on 2222. So coming back out live, you can see that traffic is able to travel on balconies going both north and southbound here in the next half hour or so. They're going to be shutting that down because they don't want cars traveling over 2222 at all for fear that possibly the road underground um, might have some issues. So of course, we'll keep you posted as the morning goes on on this situation.